Is this an embalming machine? That's dry blood all over the floor. Yeah, we got blood all over the walls there. It's so weird being in an abandoned building that has- I'm Mo Sargent. Hey, that's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns to, right now. to being locked up in the basement of haunted mansions. Those ghosts or spirits would tell her, build this, build this. To fighting for my survival on deserted islands. And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. Ah, we lost the no! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, top, my boy. Live a little. What's up guys, I'm all Sarge. Welcome back to another late night paranormal investigation. I'm back in Canada somewhere. It's freezing cold. I'm way underdressed for this. Starting off this haunted investigation inside of the basement of an abandoned mental institute. A lot of people were tortured in this place throughout the years, which is why it became abandoned over time. I need you guys to do me a big solid favor. Smash the hell out of that like button. Get my new ghost app, which I'll be using in this place later on throughout the night. The link for that is down below. And get yourself the Ghost Hunter merch. I'm pulling them off the shelves real soon. Pray for us, because this one is going to be a scary one. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. We're going to be here all night long documenting and investigating this place. All I want from you guys is prayers in the comments below. All right, as you guys can see, we are starting off this video. What's up, Randy? How sketchy was it getting in here? There, yeah, it's, it's very sketchy. So there are areas that actually have electricity and lights on in this place. But this is a very old mental asylum and uh, people were tortured here. Yeah. It is really haunting. So keep your eyes wide open. I want you guys to investigate this video just like we are. So investigate the darkness, the backgrounds, watch from the beginning till the end. Let me know if you spot something. Let me know in the comments below or even tag me on social media. We're inside the tunnel system. There's no, I, I don't think there's gonna be any uh, graffiti or vandalism no. in this place. Just, just, one, just one line there and then they got <laughs> I think this was just an arrow to let you know which way you're going. Yeah. But we gotta be careful guys, because there's security that roam the premises of this place. It's so weird being in an abandoned building that has... I was recording that. Something something moved in there. That's why I was recording it. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, what if zombies just come around the corner? Never know. What if we just right jump into? Know. After the last two years that we've had, you never know. <laughs> We're all pretty rattled up now. I don't know what that noise was. What is? Oh, it's a scared. Yeah, no, we're pretty scared right now. What the hell was that noise? I don't want to go back to that hallway. That's where we came in from. Lo, are there any spirits in here? So terrifying, whatever that noise was. I'm keeping my light to a minimal, guys, just in case. Did this light just turn on by itself? Yeah. Was that the interview? No. Oh, was it me? It's water. I think it was the water dripping behind. Yeah, it's just the water. Jeez, this is so I know, and this is only the basement. This might be a very, very long video, or it might be a very short video. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Scared? Yeah, I definitely am actually. <gasps> and I'm so scared. I know. <laughs> I haven't done this in a long time. It's been a while. It's been a long while since I've done this. But this place is heated. It's good because I'm freezing. Yeah. Okay, so which way do we go, man? Like, we're, we start off in a tunnel, we hear noises down that way, we can't go back that way, I'm scared. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
What? What is that? Oh, jeez. Scared the crap out of me, ready? See, whenever you start getting scared, the spirits, they play tricks with your mind. Got my K2 meter here. So there is electricity and lights in some parts of this place. But I don't think I want to rely on the lights in here because you never know if it turns on and off. This place is weird. I'm not getting anything on the K2. Not yet, at least. What the hell is all this? This is the basement, the underground tunnels. This connects all the other buildings. There's many buildings here. Wow, look at the look at the copper pipes in the, in the ceilings. This place is ancient. Right? Is this supposed to be like a prison cell? What? No, these are these could be just like storage compartments. Yeah. yeah, they bring them on stretchers and gurneys. Wherever we are right now, it's very nice. It's very heated. I'm getting a very bad headache in here right now. I don't know what the f*** this is. Yeah. All right, so we're in the basement, as you guys can see. <laughs> I've been saying that. It's pretty terrifying being down here. Oh my God, what the hell is this? Jeez. Oh, look at this. It's like a little doctor's clinic thing here. Can you only imagine the, uh, the anger and the negativity that took place inside of this asylum? So we just made it into this weird tunnel. It's got heat. Oh. I told you guys not to go in there. This way, it's this way. This way. Do you want to go up to a door? Do you want to go up to a door or do you want to stay? Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay. Okay. Alright, sergeants jumping into the night. We're still in the asylum. We, we had to kind of get out of there because the alarm went off in that particular hallway. No clue why it was alarmed only hallway that had an arm so we got out of there real quick we came back it's much later now it's almost three o'clock in the morning Ooh, how are you boys feeling now remember when i say don't go into a certain area do not go I into behind. you were behind me I but behind. angelo led the way and i told him don't go in there it looks very shady where is he oh shit <laughs> scared the crap out of me all right guys we just made it to the main floor over here Pretty creepy. Some spray paints. What's with all these cords everywhere? No this guy goes and touches it too. <laughs> I think these might have been for the patients. Could be. That were kind of like always keep in mind, look, it's all made of metal. So the patients that were like seriously like uh, yeah. like that would hurt someone, they would be tied to this and tethered to it. So this is the main floor right here. This looks creepy. And a lot of these are the patient rooms. Check this out. These are all rooms for the patients. This looks like dried blood. Oh, we got blood over here. We got blood on the walls. Whoa, what is through this? This looks like it was a bathroom. That it was. It was a bathroom at one point in time. I really want to find like the solitary rooms because there were a lot of solitary rooms inside of this place. So there used to be either a door or an elevator here. This was probably an elevator at one point. It's still shut now. I'm getting a weird pain in my stomach ever since we got in here. And I was feeling like that earlier when we first got in. So these look like they were all just rooms. And now they're just empty. There is, there is another floor, yeah. Keep in mind, this isn't the main building. This is one of the side buildings. The hallways in the basement get us to the other buildings. So that's what they would have used the tunnels for. Then. And that's where the alarm is. is. Yeah. Shit. But there looked like that one stairwell where we could actually go up and then that should take us into the main building. All right, let's figure it out. Let's go see if we can do that. All right, guys, we're going upstairs now. No clue what to expect. I've never seen videos or pictures of this place. Never knew it even existed until, uh, you know, Angelo reminded me of it. Now this is looking like an asylum. Oh, and we even have a ladder that goes up to the roof for an attic. Whoa. There's like an attic in there. This is a good hiding spot. Let me climb this and see if there's anything up there. 
Oh, there's a creepy door. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. It's a long way down, guys. Whoa. Yo. There's a whole attic up here. No, it's just uh, asbestos, but if anyone shows up, you can hide up here. Actually. With the asbestos. With the asbestos. But there's, a, there's like a hallway up here that goes to the other side of the building. All the way down there. This is pretty terrifying. The fact that I'm up here alone right now. Shit, man. Ooh, that's a long way down. Smash the hell out of that lake, man. Let's go. What's wrong? I can hear something down, downstairs. Really? Yeah. What do you mean you hear something? Is it Angelo down there? Wait, he's down with you? No, he's not with me. Angelo should be there. Okay, I'm gonna try to make my way down here. You guys can see I only have one hand. I'm trying to go down this ladder. <sighs> All by myself. <sighs> All right, here we go. What the f Okay, that light bulb from the ceiling just fell. <laughs> Almost hit me in the head. Oh my god. Yo, what the hell? Oh my god. The, the light bulb that was in the ceiling fell. It fell past me, I got it on camera. Where is it? Oh, there's a dead bird too. What are the odds of that? Next to a condom, what the hell went on here? <laughs> Jesus. Look, there's the ball right there. The odds are actually pretty high with us of finding dead stuff. Yeah, the, the, the ball all the way up there. It fell, it almost hit me in the head. It passed by my camera. Not this one, but the other one. There's a higher one, it almost hit me in the head. I thought Angelo was with you. I went over to that part of the building. Yeah. And then I was coming back. No, no, I was coming from no, and then I thought he was where I was. Really? I heard something. Yeah. Wait, hey, hey, who's shaking that? Who's shaking that? The cord. The cord is moving. Do you not see it swinging? Look, it's swinging. Whoa, so this is the upstairs. Now this looks like an asylum. Look at the birdie cage on the wall. This is pretty weird, right? Wow. So are there any beds left behind or nothing? Ah, nothing at all. They're all pretty much empty. But keep in mind guys, this is one building out of many. What is up with this room though? Like this court, why does it go through this window? What the hell is this all about? I don't get it guys. Did it sound like someone just tapped on something? Kinda. It wasn't you? No. This place is trippy. Yeah, you hearing things left and right. Like sorts of weird shh, 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 shh. It's so fucking quiet. Whoa, look at this, guys. This was the shower area for the patient. Just some more bathrooms over here, not much going on. Are there any spirits in here that want to communicate with me? You want to talk to me? You want to show me that you exist? Give me a sign that you're here. Touch my K2 meter, make it go to red. This is, so <laughs> this is so creepy, man. All right, boys, let's move along and, and see where this place takes us. Back to the creepy basement, avoid the sensors, and <laughs> hopefully not get caught. Hello? I thought I heard something up here. Guys, you know what this area that we were just in was? Yeah. The dentist's office. Look, the door says it right there. This, this was the dental part of the asylum. So that's what that was. 
That's why it looked different. That it didn't look like there was bedrooms. It looked like it was kind of like a, a pharmacy type thing. Wow, that's pretty creepy. So this is pretty much the only vandalism. There's little bits of graffiti. We got this little creepy clown over here. Oh, there's an... Oh, shit. That's pretty uh, terrifying. We got another creepy hallway where that's lit up over here. We just found this door that's been like kind of broken into. We went through it and it looks like there were solitary rooms that, out here. Look at this, guys. Oh, what the hell? That's not a solitary room. This was closed off. This looks like it was like a laboratory. This was probably, yeah. Uh, a patient room, maybe? I don't know. This is pretty creepy. We're still in the basement in the tunnel right now. But we're kind of above ground because this place is built up on a on a hilltop. Wow. I am so terrified and nervous right now, you guys. Gotta walk like ninjas out here. What's going on? What's happening? Where's Renny? Get in here, get in here, get in here. Someone come in. Brittany, just get in here. Come on, why'd you stay back? Just get in here, hurry up. You heard someone? 100% I heard a door open on that side. Where we came from. Shh, okay, shh, shh, shh. I'm not, I'm not done down my light. Everyone just can't stay quiet for a minute. Yeah, I mean, it could have been like a ghost or something, dude. No, 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 100%. Yeah, I believe you. I mean, it happens. We're in an asylum. Things are going to happen, you know? 100%. But me, I'm not worried of like it being a security guard. I'm worried it's going to be like a demon or something. Yeah. Like, keep them... Okay, we're all on edge. Fear is taking control of us right now. Let's just remember, if all hell breaks loose, you just jump through a window. What's going on? Did you open the door? No. Really? Oh, something just touched my leg. Okay, I'm scared. Something actually just touched my leg. Renny, why don't you stay close, man? I don't want, I, I know you always get injured and hurt and I don't want that to happen to you. Anything down here with us? I don't like this. There's a lot of washrooms everywhere. Oh, we got a staircase. I wonder where the staircase goes. Me too. Huh? You heard that too. Right? You know what? I don't think none of us are recording too. Oh, you didn't hear that? Really? Shh. 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 Yeah, I think it was just water dripping. Everything's just playing tricks on my mind. Yeah, 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 100%. When your senses are heightened like this? I mean, water does increase paranormal activity too. So it does. Yeah. They use it as energy. Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe we can try, we just have to really be cautious. Just, just keep, like, keep an eye out. Yeah, yeah, look look for sensors, because this hallway should not be lit. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. What? Back. 
No, that's not a sensor. That's a sure. magnetic door opener. Oh, okay. I do hear electricity. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we should wait for this one. But where did it go? Yeah, I I say because <coughs> Jesus. What the f is that? What the f is that? What the f is that? Did you see something? No, I heard that. Did you guys hear that? Heard wait, that, you didn't drop something just now? What, what was what was that noise? I don't know. That wasn't you. I thought you dropped something, maybe. What's going on with this damn hallway? Okay, f this place. I want to get the f out of here already. Let's go. I don't know. It might be too risky. There's lights on. Yeah, there could be alarms. I don't know where it goes. It looks like it crosses the road. Man, this is this this whole f video has been in this damn. Basement, guys. I just seen someone shadow down at the end of the hallway. Hello? Someone's down here, guys. Or something. Yeah, I've got a knife on me, just in case. I don't want to hurt anyone. To, I just don't want anything to hurt me. <sighs> this is crazy, man. We haven't even made it into the actual building and we're already terrified, you know? Okay, so we've already been through here. We know there's no alarms here. Hey, is there a wind in here? You see how the, uh, it's coated? Yeah. Yeah, it's like the color of each other. Yeah. There's no wind in here, right? Look at those. What? Look at the papers on the wall. Oh, 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 oh. There's no wind in here. We're underground. This place. I really hate this place. Hey, hey! Someone just took a step over there. I don't like this, guys. The vibes here are very off, very negative. It's, it's scary. I don't think there's any other human down here. I think it's just more of a of a, a, a ghostly type scare, you know? Oh, the lights are off. What? The heating unit just turned on again. Yeah, I know, I heard that. Guys, the lights in the hallway are off. They were off when we when the alarms went off. That was the lights were on there. That's where we set off the alarm accidentally. Unless it was a different area where we set off the alarm. Yeah, let's go and check it out. I feel like I'm not ready for this asylum. It's been so long. There's a staircase for us to go up into the building here. A building we've never been into yet. So let's go and check it out. Oh, beautiful. Let's go and check that out. But keep in mind, let's make sure there's no alarms here, guys. This is what it means to explore. We're, we're not only really doing haunted right now, but we're also exploring for the first time. No one's ever done this. So we don't know where, if there's alarms, if there's a dog that's gonna kill us. Oh. Huh. You said you saw a shadow, right? Yeah, why? I just saw one too. F well, I mean, there's, there's shadow men everywhere, dude. Yeah. I saw a shadow over that way, to the left. Back to where we came. I say we just press on, guys. If we're gonna do this all night, we're never gonna leave this basement. Yeah. Keep in mind, we're underground. This is where like a lot of the 
the, the bad, bad spirits live, right? Let's go upstairs and see who was up here. All right, guys, we're now on the main floor of this building. Looks kind of the same as the last one. Oh, we got lights on over there. Here we go. We got lights all the way at the, yeah, yeah. There's lights on all the way at the end of the hallway. That's terrifying, dude. That's where like the entrance was. So I wonder what went on in these rooms over here. So these were actual patient rooms. That other place we were in, it was the dentist office. And these were actual patient's rooms, so they're much smaller. Harder for the patients to do anything, really. Very interesting, just like the basement of the other building. Someone has broken this door. Oh, what the hell is in here? This is terrifying. It just looks just like this, but why did they block it off? I think that they, they probably had less patients yeah. as they were starting to close, so I think the back portions of the buildings they weren't using anymore. So they yeah, good, good point, I guess. They're all starting to look kind of the same. Yeah. Not much going on. It all blends together at this point. Yeah. So look, there's lights on over there. Careful, there might be sensors here. Keep in mind, now we're going exactly down the hallway. In the basement that we set off the alarm, we're walking that hallway except upstairs. This is pretty f creepy. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's just, why would they leave lights on in certain rooms, right? But these look like they were kind of like common areas. Most likely the guards would sit in there and they'd watch the patients or vice versa. Or I could be wrong about everything that I've been talking about. Usually I'm pretty right though. So this part is lit up. I have no idea why. I'm just gonna turn off my lights now to conserve battery. Someone's tried to break that window and they were unsuccessful. You see how it's like shredded? So there's no alarm. Jesus Christ, Renny. This is dry blood. Yeah, that's dry blood all over the floor, guys. That's dry blood all over the floor. Wow, guys. Look at this room. The wallpaper. Do I hear the vibration? I hear footsteps. I'm hearing very faint footsteps. Be careful, there might be an alarm in this hallway. I'm thinking these rooms were offices. Looks like it, yeah. Some of these, these are really nice wallpaper. They're not going to give patients nice wallpaper. All common areas. Oh yeah, this is the sunroom. Why would they have this in the middle of the hallways? This, this heating system. Moving on, we're on edge. So we're kind of crossing the threshold of the hallway where we set off the alarm. I think we're kind of past it. What happened? Oh, we just thought we saw Whoa, this looks like it was a conference room. Look at the old wood over here. That's pretty cool. Or maybe a chapel? A chapel, yeah, you're right. Could be a chapel. Well, whatever it is, it keeps going into this room. This looks like it was a cafeteria. But I don't know, like it's weird. Cafeterias don't usually look like this. Yeah, this probably was the kitchen at some point for yeah. a certain part. So this is why you gotta really be careful in abandoned places, guys. Look at the ceilings. This could fall on you and hurt you. Oh, what was that? What was that? Was that you? No, what'd you guys hear? Something above us. It's like somebody moved something. Keep in mind there is electricity, it's old electricity, so it's going to be loud. Yeah. Everything's amplified too, it's like a big echo chamber. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Vending machine. Would you like a Mountain Dew? Yeah, I would love a Mountain Dew. <laughs> Haven't had one of those in years. Um, so everything's looking kind of the same now. Where, did we, we didn't come from there, did we? I don't think we did. No, we came from over there. 
down that way. Man, this is how easy you can get lost. Look, there's hallways that go down this way. Hallways. That... I think it's over here. Look. On the right. So right there is the front door where you guys see that red light. We're going to avoid that because there's probably a camera over there. So we're going to stay very, very far from that door. Let's keep going. Let's hope we can capture some ghostly activity on camera or just explore like this is a, a ghost video slash an abandoned video you never know what you're gonna find oh there's a chapel right here this is the actual chapel wow look at the windows that's how you know this was the chapel and yo look what i just found this is the rooms this is the this is this is this is the actual patient rooms Wait, let's make sure there's no sensors here i think we're in the clear these were patient rooms over here guys I mean, they, yeah, they're tiny. Look at this. Whoa. They had pretty big rooms, to be honest. They had a bookshelf in here, nothing on it. But they have massive rooms. Anything here with me? Little Sally, Stevie, Larry. Y'all here? This is like a prison. It literally looks like a prison over here. Right? Now keep in mind, these heaters were not here back in the day. These were put in place to keep the humidity out. I guess they're trying to preserve, preserve this place or renovate it. I don't know. I don't, I don't think they're renovating, but maybe preserve it. Oh, wow. We got hospital beds. Dude, look at this. Hospital beds. Oh, what the fuck was that? Something just fell over here. That wasn't you? That doesn't connect to you. Something. So, you heard that? I'm pretty, I got that on camera. From well, I don't, I don't know if it's from downstairs, but from here. What's that? Whoa. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely something. Finally, some beds. Man, this is awesome. It would have been nice if they were in the rooms, but I, I guess that was ready. I guess we'll take this. So we just discovered this room that's gutted. Yeah, they've they've opened the wall. Oh my god. Is this an embalming machine? This is an embalming machine, guys. Or uh, what is it? Vacuum regular, decrease, increase. Wow. Well, look, it's got, there's a gas mask or a mask of some sort. Yeah. Oh, it's probably anesthesia. Anesthesia. Yeah. Whoa. What a fucking creepy. Wow. Well, this is a cool find. Something I've never seen in these yeah. asylums before. Yeah. I can't believe they left it in here. We found this other side of the building. Keep in mind, we're still going along the lines of the hallway that the alarm went off in the basement. We haven't even gone upstairs. Is there another upstairs in this building? Uh, yeah, I think there's like four or five floors. What is all this? This is so creepy. Are there any spirits in here? Oh, this was a bathroom or... There's a red light somewhere? Never mind, that's not even inside the building, that's outside. Oh yeah, you're right, that's a tower. Whoa, that electricity is loud. So it seems like they're stripping and gutting this place. <laughs> Don't touch anything metal because of the electricity noise? Oh my god. So this is proof that electricity does not affect the K2 meters. Listen to this electricity and the K2 meters are not going off right now. That's proof for you guys right here. Okay, I don't want to go in there. That's terrifying. We should go upstairs. There's a staircase right behind me. Let's do it. We're making our way upstairs right now. Not sure what we're going to find up here. But then again, this whole place is a mystery. I don't know why, but I just heard like someone screaming. I don't know if it was in my head. Or, did you guys hear a scream? Cause I heard a fucking scream. All right, so I guess there isn't a scream. Look at this. Oh, we got a bat. Look at the bat up there. Hey, Mr. Bat. Can you bite me so I can become Spider-Man? Is that how it works? Hey, so these are um, common spaces. Kind of like sleeping areas, like in Letchworth Village. So dormitories. dormitories, yeah, right here. That's what we're seeing right now. I know we're kind of walking slow through this video, 
but we're just being mindful. Oh my God, look at the windows in here. What the hell? Yeah, this is really cool. But we're just trying to be slow because of the sensors and alarms. We don't want to trip anything. We want to be able to film this place for you guys. Oh yeah, this was definitely a prison cell right here. Cage to window, pink room. Probably a girl's room at one point. Look at the glass right there. Yeah. Oh wow. Help, let me out, let me out. Oh, there's another stair, another floor? Five stories, man. Five on stories? Third, we're on the third floor. I think they're all gonna be the same though. I think they're all gonna be gutted and empty, so there's no point into going up further and further. Let's just explore this and, and make our way out of here. I love these windows, they're really awesome. It doesn't look like it from the outside, but it really is big. Well, it looks like we finally found a room with some furniture. It looks like it belonged to uh, someone that worked here. But this is the server room. They had their computer servers here. Interesting that they had this for an old building. What is that noise? What's that noise? What was that noise? What noise? It's like old kind of like something dragging. Yeah. Guys, come see these windows. This is so cool. I think that's all we're doing for this video, is looking at cool windows. <laughs> but look at this, it really, it really, um, they don't make stuff like this no more. Oh, oh. Did it open or, like, what the f*** was going on? I heard a noise, I wasn't recording, I was looking at it. I was, yeah, I caught a bit of it opening. Oh, a safe! Whoa. <laughs> oh, I wonder what's in this. I'm surprised no one's tried to break through this. Yeah. Wow. Hey, uh, anybody got a bottle pin? <laughs> anybody got a stick of dynamite? <laughs> Bro, I, yeah, I feel weird being up here. Yeah, I don't right. want to spend too much time in this area. This door uh, somehow opened. I don't know. Did you guys touch it? or? I, didn't touch it. I wasn't recording and I just turned my camera on and I caught a bit of it, I think. A little bit dark, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and end off this vlog. We really thought security was going to show up, but they didn't. We just finished, it's late, it's like past 3 a.m. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video. This is uh, gonna be uh, the last time you guys see Rennie for a little bit, as always. Yeah, Any I know. Anytime these two are in my vlogs, it's always the last time you're gonna see them. I didn't get injured this time though, so that's Thank fine. God. Yeah, oh. We're officially dead after this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Don't forget to be you, do you stay positive. Get yourself the new app our app guys get it down below while you can before spirit lens the spirit before the spirits get you it's going to help you find the ghosts in your house if you've got a ghost problem use the spirit lens to find the location of it love you guys be you do you stay positive and just live a little see you on the next one